Hey, welcome back to the Fit Survive channel. So what I have here today is some of the lockpick tools that I carry in my EDC kits. Uh, so I wanna go through, kinda of show you what, uh, what I have, how I use them, and so on, how I carry them maybe even. Um, but first of all, I'm gonna kinda of start out with um, why to carry an EDC, uh, a, uh, a lockpick set in your EDC. Um, several times when I've posted videos of my EDC or I've posted pictures, I've had people uh, comment and say, you know, I don't know why you'd need a lockpick set. You know, it's like, aren't those just like criminals and thieves? There's actually a lot of different reasons to carry a lockpick set. Um, it's a really good survival skill to have, uh, for one thing. Uh, just, you know, different scenarios that may come up. Uh, just having the ability and the equipment with you, uh, it's it's definitely something that can come in uh, handy over time. Um, there's also the, the reason for like a plan B. Like if something happens to your keys, you get locked out, whatever, uh, you use the opportunity to be able to get back in. You don't have to hire a locksmith to come pay him to basically pick your lock for you. Um, there was one uh, time when we went and visited my grandmother's house and we couldn't, couldn't, we was knocking the door, we couldn't get to her, called her, she wouldn't answer. And so basically I was picking a lock um, just because we were concerned about her. So that, there's just a bunch of different reasons why you would want to carry a lock pick um, set. It's also a really great um, hobby. Uh, it can be kind of enjoyable. Kind of like tying knots where you, you kind of, you, you just practice with it. Um, lock picking is pretty cool because you get a lot of uh, enjoyment whenever you get it to actually snap open. You know, just that satisfaction of hearing it click. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, other than that, you know, I don't know why people think only criminals carry this. That's kind of like saying, you know, if you carry a lighter in your EDC, you're like an arsonist or something. You know, it's, it's just insane. So anyways, um, I will say, though, that you should definitely check your local laws. If you're interested in getting a lockpick set, uh, make sure that it's legal where you are because it's not necessarily legal to have a lockpick set everywhere in the world. All right, so other than that, let's go ahead and we'll jump right in and I'll, I'll show you these uh, and how I carry them. So what we'll start with is uh, the Southard. This is their lockpick pin, and it's a really cool uh, concept because um, at a first glance, you would not guess that this is a lockpick set. And so if you are somewhere where you don't want people thinking uh, you know, bad things about you just because you have a lockpick set, this is a great little kit. Um, I guess before I get into this, let me start with just some basics. Now, I'm an amateur myself. I'm not going to pretend to be an expert in lockpicking, um, but I'll just run over the basics so you'll understand the reasoning behind uh, some of these different EDC, um, sorry, lockpick sets. So first of all, to pick a lock like this, like a padlock, you need a tensioner. And so you put some tension on this, and then you need a pick, and you'll push these pins down um, until basically it snaps open once you get them all in the line here at the bottom. So this is a, a practice um, lock here, and so you can see uh, the pins as you work. It makes it a whole lot easier. Of course, when you don't have it transparent, it's gonna be a lot more difficult. You'd be acting more on feel and maybe even sound. Um, but anyways, so knowing that, let me go ahead and get back into this now. So you unscrew the back off, and this pocket clip is actually the tensioner. And so personally, I think that's a brilliant uh, way to carry that uh, because that's one of the things that makes it difficult with an EDC kit and a lock pick set is actually finding a comfortable way to carry everything. So I, I like the way they did that. And then on the inside, they have a whole bunch of um, different picks here. And so depending on what kind of pick you're, uh, what kind of lock you're picking, you know, some of these will come in handy in different ways. Uh, some of my favorite is, the, I like the rake, or on the single pick. Oh, I'll go ahead and I'll just use the single pick uh, to start with. I'll kind of show you how this works. So whenever you pick the pick <laughs> that you want, didn't mean to say it that way, just put all the rest of back in there so it's not in the way. All right, and then what happens is you loosen this up, slide it in there, and the advantage of this is that it gives you plenty of uh, handle here to work with because a lot of these more compact um, kits they're gonna not give you a whole lot of, of like hand space, if that makes sense. All right, so you put the tensioner in here, you apply some tension, so I can make sure I can make sure you guys can see it as I work. All right, so you'll see what I'll do is start in the front, and then as you push these pins down, uh, they'll snap into place, and if it snaps into place, it'll let me um, move on to the next one. And so with the transparent, it's really simple. Uh, you move along, and looks like my first one came undone. There we go. So you move along and you can see what you're doing as you go. And if one of them uh, goes too far, then you basically have to just kind of like reset by just lightly uh, letting up on the pressure on your, on your tensioner. And then once you get everything in place, it pops open. All right, so again, this is a really simple um, padlock to actually pick with it being just a trainer one there. So then basically this just goes back into the back and your, uh, your tension goes back on as a pocket clip. So really cool little setup. I really like this. 
Uh, this actually stays in my EDC pouch. And it honestly looks just kind of like an ugly pin, basically. And so it doesn't draw a lot of attention, doesn't draw any questions um, in places where, you know, people would be a bit paranoid about you having a lockpick set. So this uh, lockpick set from Southard costs $57. Like I said, I just carry it in my, in my pouch. It fits in the back, just like a pin. And so it doesn't cause any issues. All right, so the next thing, and actually probably one of my favorites also, um, is this set right here from Sparrow's um, lockpicks. So this is their mace picks. Uh, these cost $12 as well, and they do come with some extra tensioners, but I don't use these because like I said, uh, when I'm carrying EDC, the tensioners can tend to be kind of inconvenient to carry. With uh, They're not flat, they're twisted and all, they're large. Whereas these, they're so small. Um, I showed this when I reviewed the Wazoo cash cap, and they just fit like perfectly into the cap right here. You slide them down a little deeper. Um, or if even you put them in your wallet, you slide them right where like your credit card goes, you slide in there, and it's really uh, not hardly noticeable. They're so thin. And the cool thing about it is you'll see in the back, this back part right here works just like a tincture. So since you have two, you'd use one for the tincture and you'd use, you would use the second one for your pick. And so two is all you need uh, for an entire per se uh, kit. And I know this is gonna be really limited with you having just a single pick and then the rake. So since last time I showed you the rake, this I'll show you the, uh, I'm sorry, last time I showed you the pick with the uh, Southard, this I'm gonna use the rake. So the rake um, is actually also probably my favorite pick simply because um, whenever you can't see the pins, what you do with this is you kind of put it in there, you kind of rock it back and forth and you kind of um, apply and release some tension to your tensioner as you go. And it really, uh, I've had a lot of success uh, with the rake um, and actual picks, a lock. So in case you see there, that was just like a breeze going through that. Um, one of the times that I used my, my lock pick set, uh, we were at a, a youth meeting and the, the volleyball net was locked up. And I guess the, they had like a private school there and stuff. And so the key, uh, we were allowed to use the net, but the key was basically gone with, uh, I guess the PE teacher or somebody. And so I was able to use my lockpick set and it was just a really simple lock. It was kind of like what you see like a luggage. And so I literally just stuck the rake in there. It was like, and it was open. Of course, you know, hero and all. All right, anyway, so moving on to the next one. Um, this is also from, I'm sorry, I'll use that in a second. This is also from Sparrows. This is what they call a shank. Now this is actually a completely different lock picking tool compared to these because you know generally what you need is a tensioner and then a pick to pick the lock. Whereas this is actually going to be a slightly different tool in that it's meant to move this top section. So this is good for like filing cabinets or for padlocks, but you can't use this on like a door, uh, like on front door, you know, that kind of a lock. All right, so what you'll see here, what I've done is I've taken this um, shank from Sparrows and I replaced the original blade in a Swiss Army knife. And so that creates an advantage uh, that you can basically carry this with a Swiss Army knife. And again, it doesn't cause any, uh, I don't know, like paranoia from people who are afraid that you know, you're know you a criminal if you have a lockpick set. Um, and the other thing is, this is only possible because you don't need a tensioner. Whereas if I was gonna try to put in a standard like pick, then I also have to carry somehow another tensioner, which of course adds some extra difficulty. All right, so what you do, like I said, is instead of picking these pins, we're gonna reach up here and right there where you see this little brass like uh, kind of triangle right there on this side, we're gonna reach up there and pull them back. So, Kind of like that. I'm applying a pressure here to make sure that doesn't pop back into place. We do the same thing on this side. I usually get this to go in just two movements, but not when I'm recording the video. Sometimes if I can't get it to go the first try, uh, what I'll do is I'll just reset basically. Start back over. All right, so the first one again. Yeah, the second one does not want to perform for me here. There we go. All right, so just like that, again, the, the lock opens up. And also it's something easier to do uh, if you can't get to those pins or you know if it's a difficult lock. And sometimes being able to access it that way can be an easier method, especially with like, like I said, like filing cabinets, those kind of locks that are shorter gives you plenty of space to get in and to work with it. Something else that I noticed, um, now this won't work on all padlocks, um, but like on a padlock like this, you can see right here, there's some like looseness in it. So you can also use this as a, as a shim, where you just basically just uh, feed this down next to the lock like this. Of course, it's not gonna go there for me now. There we go. 
So you do that, and then the same thing on this side, and that pops right open. So this is not meant to be a shim tool, like I just used it as, but sometimes if the padlock gives you enough space, you can do that and just force it on either side and it pops open. All right, so that is um, basically the lock pick tools that I use or that I carry in my EDC gear. Um, so let me know what you think about that. Um, if you think that it's a good idea to carry a lock pick set or if it's a bad idea to carry one. Um, if, you, if you see it just as criminals should be carrying lock picks, you know, let me know. I'm curious what you guys think about it. If you're interested in uh, these lockpick sets, I will include links to this in the video. Um, I did not mention the price of this. This is uh, $15 on uh, Sparrows, and then the, the Mace picks, they are $12. So anyways, I'll have a link to all of this, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.